In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, good morning. All of you that are watching from your homes, thank you for joining us at this Holy Mass on this Thursday morning. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, Lord, that you may cause us your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become afraid. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may, gla may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt? with such great power on so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, what evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your basin wrap them down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars of the sky, and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the, in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Remember us, the Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, the Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf before us and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of the grass eating book. Remember us, the Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, 
who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things to the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withhold him in the bridge to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent messages to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. It was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise, do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
brothers and sisters, and during this time when we are locked down and hankered at home, my life seemed to have stopped. There seemed to be a new normal at this temple. And while we are trying to stay ourselves, keep ourselves busy, keep our children active, some of just emailed me yesterday saying that she's done everything possible, done all the puzzles, done all the puzzles, baked cookies, baked bread for the children, did so many outdoor activities as well, and is wondering what to do next. During this time, people take a lot of advantage of the ball rules, so we have to be watchful. Especially, they will send us emails, text messages, phone calls, saying, you know, just sign up here and you'll get a lot of money. The government, you know, the Congress and the Senate has passed a ruling, and you've got to get this much money. Give us your social security number, or tell us about where to deposit it. Give us your bank account number. Well, these are like those false prophets that Jesus talks about. These are the ones that want to take advantage of you, testify falsely, and take your information and use and abuse it. So stay watchful of that. In the scriptures today, gospel in particular, the sacred scriptures, St. John the Baptist, the works of Christ, they all testify to who Jesus is. His heavenly Father testified to who he is on his behalf. Twice we hear it in the scriptures, in particular at Jesus' baptism, we have to think about the luminous mysteries, at Jesus' transfiguration, there was a voice that was heard by those present. We heard the Father testify to who Jesus is, both through the church and through the sacred scriptures. Do we hear him testify to who I am, to who you are, to who you are, to who you are as a member of his body, the church? Do you hear him testify and say, this is my blood son, listen to him. As I said in my start of this reflection, there are false prophets around. They were out in the time of Jesus, testifying falsely that they were the ones, that they were the God-sent ones. The devil testifies, but not to the truth. He testifies to the falsehood, and then tracks us, and discourses, and takes us away from our beloved God. Today, the 26th of March, as you stayed home, Listen to the Father's voice. He says to us, You are my beloved child. I love you unconditionally. He says to us, You are my redeemed child. I have saved you from sin. You are my treasured child. You have a future full of hope. Friends, 
These are truths that do not change. Because God is always faithful to his covenant and to his love toward all those who come to him, his sons and daughters. So, during this whole outbreak of COVID-19, to keep ourselves and others safe while we are locked down, sheltered at home, some of us feel lonely, depressed, discouraged, anxious, worried, fearful. I've been talking to people, I've made some phone calls to some of our Christians, and they've been expressing such feelings, such emotions. Friends, this message is for you today. While you feel that way, please know that your father testifies to who you are and what he did for you. He walks with you. He wants to talk to you. During this time when you feel lonely, know that you're not alone. God is with you. He wants to listen to you. He wants to speak to you. In all the noise that is outside us and within us, the anxiety and the emotions, let us calm down. Let us take some time today. Let's open the scripture and hear God's voice through any of your favorite scripture reading that you might want to read today. The scriptures testify to the truth of the Father's love. The scriptures are here to support us. The Eucharist that you will receive spiritually today is to nurture, nourish you, and strengthen you, even while you may feel lonely, discouraged. It is here to give you faith, to strengthen your hope, and to teach you and to let you know that your Father loves you no matter what. That he will never forget you. As he says, I have carved you on the palm of my hand. You are precious to me. May you feel that deep within the recesses of your heart, your soul will be there. May you know the Father's love for you. The name of the Father, the Son, And now, friends, we will offer our intentions, prayers, and petitions to the Lord. The Father always hears our prayers. He's always ready and willing to help us. It's just a prayer away. Let us place for the while all our needs, our anxieties, our fears of the future. And let us trust in His love. As we pray these competitions. The Pope Francis, bishops, priests, men and women in consecrated life, and all Christians may stand before the world as a beacon of hope, leading people away from sin and darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all the family members tested positive for coronavirus may receive right treatment for complete recovery, and that all of us may practice the directives of the state, federal government to control the spread of this deadly disease. Deadly disease. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our president, vice president, congressmen, senators, governors, the task force, 
scientists, doctors, nurses, first responders, and medical professionals, social workers, and all volunteers may be protected from contracting the coronavirus while caring for the people in our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let all who draft and uphold the law of our land be just and merciful to the lowly, never forgetting the most vulnerable and the elderly among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the elect of our parish, those preparing for the waters of baptism and Easter, may have their eyes open to the truth of, our, of their lives and seek always the compassionate touch of the Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for all the sick in our parish, in our families and our community. especially those that need great care and attention, those with compromised staff health situation. Those names are listed in our book, Prayer, Prayer Chain, those who ask us to pray for them, for our prayer partners, for the imprisoned, for the mentally ill, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased members of our parish and our families, and those we lost through this deadly spread of virus throughout the world, and the families that grieve the loss of their loved ones, also through the earthquake in Croatia, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's mass intention, for the call of family intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, most loving, ever merciful and compassionate God, you teach us your love for us. May we respond in faith, hope, and love to your promptings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work from the hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Lord, my Father. And may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our benefit of all his holy church. Grant me, pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we proclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord. And from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's sufferings, and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we do our sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be made for our sake, the wood of the cross, but before his arms swore stretched between heaven and earth to become the blessed son of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things to himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our sure peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, 
we offer you who are a faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race, look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake with one bread and one chance, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to give us always in communion of mind and heart, together with friends of the Pope, as an essential of mission. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Glorious Martyrs, and all your saints, John the Apostle, his Lord the Father, Francis David, Teresa of Calcutta, Joseph Voss, Simon and Jude, Maximum and Colby, Faustina Kowalska, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. We always pray for the intentions of the called family, that freed at last from the world of corruption, made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but when I say the word, my soul shall be healed. The God and blood of Christ keep us safe from the together. Let us together to the end of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. sacrament we have received, purify us, we pray, Lord, and grant that your servants, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by guilt and a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. All your hands. O God, protect your fall who hope in you. Bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him in humble prayer. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits 
who are found among the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. God bless you, David. Be safe. We pray for you each day. We pray for us. And God will journey with us in these difficult, difficult times of our lives. We we'll thank Corinne for live streaming this holy mass and also Hannah King for being our this morning. Thank you all for joining. God bless you.